Our next step will now be showing you how to um, create your bear and um, the first thing you need to do is create your own templates in order to um, trace that onto the wrong side of your fur. This is Pip's pattern sheet and you will see that it consists of all the shapes you need to make Pip. For example, here is the side head which gets uh, put together with the head gusset. That's the body shape, uh, the shape for the leg and then an outer arm and an inner arm and here is the ear. We also have a separate section here for the foot pads because they get made from ultra suede. Uh, so the foot pads and paw pads are in a separate section on the pattern sheet. The first thing you would do is then take your pattern sheet and make a photocopy of it so that you keep your original pattern intact and um, that photocopy is going to be glued onto a, a cardboard sheet, a folder or a cereal box and then you're going to make a set of templates. Once you have your photocopy, take it with some print and on the reverse side, cover it with print so that you can stick it to your open cereal box or cardboard folder. This will provide a firm backing for your templates and much easier to trace onto the back of your mohair when you come to trace it out. Then make sure that you take a pair of paper scissors and cut around each shape. Right, now that you've cut out all your templates, the next important thing is to read each one to um, identify the body shape and look at the pile direction. Um, you will see that uh, some of these shapes have mirror images, in other words you need to cut two of them. If we start with the head here, you need two side heads and one gusset to form the head shape. So this particular template shape here would need uh, a mirror image. The body needs two parts as well. It's um, a, a center seam body with no side seam. This section here is where your side seam is and that's where the joint marks are. Your leg consists of one shape with a fold down here, so you would need to make another template of that. You have an inner arm and an outer arm, and because you need a, a, a left and a right arm, you'd need to uh, create a mirror image of that. Your ear, you would need to cut four ear pieces, and then these are the shapes for your foot pads and your paw pads, and that would get cut out of ultra suede. If you look at the leg section, there is a little pattern layout there that identifies all the shapes and where they need to be positioned in order to get them um, out of the fabric that you have in your kit. If you have a closer look at the pattern layout, you will see that it actually has the mirror images set out for you. So always ensure that when you do cut your pattern pieces out onto your fabric, that you have um, each one uh, laid out in a mirror image rather than going in the same direction. Now you can see that we now have a duplicate set of um, certain of the templates for example, we have the two body shapes, the two leg shapes, uh, four pieces for the ear, the two inner arms, the two outer arms, and the two side heads. We need to make holes at the joint placement marks on your templates, and uh, you can use any sharp instrument, for example, an awl, a knitting needle, um, a skewer, or a, a long, thick doll needle. And what you would do is, obviously, you'd need to look at the body, um, the inner arm and the leg because that's where the joint marks would do. You merely take your sharp instrument and pierce it through that hole because that hole you need to put a pin through and mark it onto your fabric eventually so that you have a marking for the joint positions. That's your leg marking and then your inner arm marking. Now we're going to review which templates need to have um, holes pierced in them. It will be the body, so your left body and your right body, one is a mirror image. You will put it where the arm is going to be positioned and where the leg is going to be positioned on both of your body shapes. On your leg, your left leg and your right leg, you will require a hole where the leg joint is going to be positioned. Your inner arm, your left arm and your right arm, inner arm, will each require a hole in the a joint position um, and those will be the only ones. If you look for example at the head you will see there is a dot but that is for the eye placement and that is going to be a different marking that we're going to use. We're not going to make a hole in that as well as the gusset. Those dots are merely for positioning of the gusset onto the side head. The next step is now going to be taking uh, the templates and positioning it on the wrong side of your mohair 
and tracing around each shape. 